you're the guy with the with the uh, premium taste buds. I mean, we just use the stuff to get drunk. So if you think it's better, it's gonna get me drunk the same. So. The Fred Minnick Show is brought to you by 291 Colorado Whiskey, by Michter's, and by Heaven Hill Brands. And returning to the Fred Minnick Show after allowing me to escape with my life, the mighty Gwar, Blothar, Balsack, Jizmag. How are you all doing? Good to see you. Hey, Fred. Hey, that's us. What's up, Fred? Yeah. <laughs> Good to be seen. Well... It, a lot has happened since you all spared my life um, a couple years ago. One, I have I have to congratulate you. You all had uh, had a live stream that made uh, the Billboard top ten. That was huge. That was huge. That was your first uh, Billboard top ten appearance. And I, I just got to ask you, how did that feel? What what was that like to uh, to achieve that so many years after after forming? Well, you are the first one to inform us of this, so it feels great. Uh, we, we knew nothing about a Billboard Top Ten. Yeah, it's news to us. Are you uh, shitting me? Uh, no, Is that some I, kind I, of backhanded compliment, Minnick? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you all you all made it in uh, November 14th, 2020. Yeah, we're on a right. drinking podcast, so maybe we're just too drunk to remember that we got that accolade. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And then you you just had a, a new album drop, The New Dark Ages. I loved it. I I and and Blothar, I got to I got to compliment you. Your vocals were awesome on that. I loved the album. It was one of my favorite albums of the year to be honest with you, and I'm <laughs> I'm a big fan of uh of of the guitar, everything in that in that album. It sounds great. Well, thank you. Thank you. I will uh I'll tell the person who sang on it. <laughs> Who is that? Is that why you locked us out of the studio? Because you got so brought in a ringer. Yeah, I remember that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got a song on there that they're going to use for future presidents when they're being carted off, and uh, mother motherfucking liar, I think, is going to be a classic and played around the world for years to come. I hope so. I would, now, I would really like that. Now, now Jizmac, you you were telling me that that this song before we before we went live that this song has some legs in some particular situations. You you want to you shed a little light on that? You know, as as you said, you're like we're on all the charts, so yeah, it's it's racing right to the to the bottom of the charts right now. <laughs> a lot of movement. Uh, you know, rock radio as well as metal, of course, metal. But we're you know we're getting a lot of looks, a lot of you know, uh, playlists, things like that. So we're pretty happy about it. And hopefully we can infiltrate and uh, destroy the minds of the youth of America with this record. And Look, that is, they're willing to play Gary glitter at hockey games. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and a little Lionel Richie. Don't forget, you know, don't forget that. Oh no. Uh, Blothar, do you listen to Lionel Richie? Is that, is that uh, help you go to sleep at night at all? Is that the, that dude that looks like a horse who used to be in the yeah 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 I, and, yeah, I listen to him I love him he, he's an absolute genius and he has a has a daughter you know oh yeah yeah she's a she's a real prize whatever happened to her after the simple life she's uh, just you know makes an appearance here and there but you know she and Paris Hilton kind of you know part of ways Paris Hilton's kind of kind of her thing you know uh, both are how do you feel about paris hilton are you a fan of her uh well i mean you know she's really too skinny for me and she only has two breasts you know i'm really more of a six breast kind of guy yeah i can see that i can definitely yeah, I see like that six, six breasted creatures <laughs> just mac do you do you have an opinion on the I thought we killed her. We did. We did. Right. We no, killed her. I'm not sure she's alive still. I thought she was dead. She's not alive. She's in my basement, and I love her. 
Okay. Well, Zach is, uh, has Paris Hilton captured in, in his basement. That has been, uh, it's on the record here. So hopefully now that all of us hearing that are, are, are not, uh, going to be joining Paris anytime soon, but, uh, so you all have a new whiskey out. I know the last time, the last time we chatted, you just came out with one and now you've got, uh, you've got a new release. It's exciting. Got the same. Yeah, name. boom. Ragnarok Rye from Catoctin Creek. This is the It'll get you hammered. <laughs> That's good juice right there. Now it's so, it's so good that the goons over at UPS stole my shipment, and this is not a lie. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. They said that the package was so damaged that UPS just discarded the whole thing. So I don't believe that for a minute. There's a drunk uh, UPS driver out in the out in this area right now with two bottles of Catoctin Creek Ragnarok mm. right, right at this moment. So we have yet to sample the new bottling. Exactly. Our wow. name's on it. We can't drink it yet. Wow. Well, then I, I'm going to have a little uh, fun teasing you then. And, uh... Not cool, Fred. This could put you on the list, back on the list for instant death. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but Blothar likes to be teased a little bit. He's, uh, you know. I do. That's that what is I a like. sexy bottle. Look how sexy that pour is. Oh. Uh, that, that is wow. a pretty label. It is a pretty label. It's and got then, some pretty looking dudes on it. Look at that there. Which one uh, is that? Which one? Can you see it? I can't uh -uh. see it. We're blind. Jeez, we don't. Aha! Of course it is. The biggest drug. Yeah. So the worst one of all. I, I I would say like this is a good looking label. I'm j I'm just a little shocked that I'm not seeing any ass cracks in it. You know, this is the these are all frontal pictures of the yeah, members they, of Gore. Yeah, what they did is they put the front of the album on the bottle and it wrapped around and so you can't if you turn the label over peel it off turn it over and glue it back on it's the back of the album which is our ass cracks you drink the whole thing and get inside the bottle you can see yeah yeah <laughs> if you drink it down you can look through the other side and see the ass crack but that only works if you drink it by yourself in one sitting i mean okay so all right so i need to drink the whole bottle peel the label off put it back on and then we see the ass cracks got it yeah, I mean, what kind what of you an ass crack, Minnick? <laughs> yeah, of red flag are you, Fred? You drink alone all the time. That's a red flag, big time. It, that is true. Uh, according to uh, many studies, uh, I, I'm a I'm a problem. I've got a, <laughs> I've got a problem. You're our kind ass of problem. Ass ass <laughs> so, ha have you been back to Antarctica in a while? been so busy it's like we've been on the road we've been flying around making whiskeys making beer doing shows it's like we haven't had time to go home mm. yeah yeah we we haven't really we've been stomping grapes making a new wine oh wow now do you do you all uh do you urinate in the fermentation tanks at all to give it a little no. extra essence no in, in, yeah. Any any blood going in there for 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 a little extra Keep spice? Going. There's one more option, Fred. Keep going. <laughs> all the bodies, <laughs> it'll be the fluids. <laughs> <laughs> there's one. There's one. There's that. There's two more. There's saliva. Uh, right. Nope. And then there's the fecal matter. No. Oh, no. no. Guess again. You want that <laughs> oh boy. The space the jizz. the baby batter, yeah. Space jizz, lots of space jizz. Bottle though, it turns to that amber color, and you can see right through it. That's what you're drinking now. So, all right. So you all haven't tasted this. This is uh, this is a this is. I want to if I can wonder if I have your other bottle. We'll see. Yep, I do. Hold on. You want to go head-to-head? -head? Yeah. Batch one versus batch two? Yeah. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. I'm turning in my white chip. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to go batch one versus batch two. 
And I need another glass. Hold on. All right. So we, we definitely, you know, we have the introduction here, right? Um, pretty nice, pretty nice bottle, the introduction with the label. But it feels like it's just, it's, it on, on the label points, second batch wins, you know? This has uh, the full wraparound label. You got the ass cracks on the other side. Um, it, this just feels this feels more on the label side, more like what I want to see out of a Gwar whiskey. I like yeah. the first label, but this one here, to me, this 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 screams Jismac ball sack, you know, and every other every other defiling creature in your yeah. ranks. You know, I like the one that's so classy though. You saying we're not classy? You, you think we're? Well, I mean, may, maybe if the ass cracks were showing, I'd upgrade it a little bit. But since I gotta peel the label off, you know. <laughs> it's well, I'm, glad you know. We can, I'm glad you told us now we can sack the artist. <laughs> I agree. I mean, you know, yeah, it looks, it looks, it's a very rich looking label. It's nice. This is this is actually great. Um, it, I, I like the other one too a lot, but this one. You know, I, you know, breaking breaking away from my my attempt of a comedic re, comedic routine here as like a comic fan and as a whiskey fan, like I, I look at this bottle and and you know, I kind of I want to keep it for forever. You know, I like I like looking at it. I like how you all kind of created this kind of collectible of of all the band members, um, the stopper similar to to Blanton's, and uh, in a worst case scenario. You know, you take this cork out, you have a home intruder, jab somebody in the eye with that, you're good to go. Turn the other end around. The cork makes a great butt plug for those of you who are yep. just on the intro level of butt plugging. Most everything we make is a weapon of some sort. Or and a butt a plug. plug. Yeah. And a butt plug. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much synonymous in our world. Yeah, they're dual purpose. Hmm. All right. Wow, they are drastically different. Really? Yes. Which one's gonna win? Which one's gonna win? Should so clear your palate with some isopropyl. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, batch one is is really oily. It's got like it's got like rye just jumping out of the glass. Like it's so the rye the rye oil kind of essence is so thick in the nose. In batch two, quite a bit more muted. It's it, you know it's there, but there's like now like, um, now it's like in a rye muffin form. So now instead of like it being kind of grounded up and in in here it's uh, in an oven. Batch went on the taste. Definitely rye, oily, herbally, spicy. Blothar, you all right, buddy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Just gotta go to the bathroom. He's going to walk over here from out of state. <laughs> All right, batch two. Wow. Batch two feels like it's um, just a, has a has a touch more um, outside of like a the spice range, I would say, like rye has. Like it has... It's it's quite a bit more nuanced than than batch one. They rushed the first one. That's what. Yeah, this feels uh, this feels older. Feels um, more developed. It's like a yeah. fig. It's like a fig bar, in like a pepper jelly. Kind of met. It's spicy but sweet with like fig. It's it's good. I like, um, I definitely like the, um, I like the second batch better. 
Excellent. Yeah, we just keep getting better with age, I guess. It, but you haven't yeah. tasted you haven't tasted it at all, or you just haven't gotten your bottle. We just haven't gotten to it. Yeah, the, no, I told you the goons at EPS stole it. So we're waiting and waiting and waiting. We're so tired of waiting. Yeah. I'm glad you're tasting it though, you're the guy with the with the uh, premium taste buds. I mean, we just use the stuff to get drunk. So if you think it's better, it's going to get me drunk the same. So, <laughs> you know. Now, will you. Everybody know it's so great. Oh, Guar is so great. They got great booze. Woohoo. Now, will you, will, you all, uh, will you all drink a little bit before you get on the stage and play? Oh, no, we do LSD usually. Yeah. Yeah. Drink, drink after. So it's more of a celebratory thing. The, the the illegal drugs help you get on stage and put people through the grinder and such. Yeah, we save the good stuff for afterwards. Yeah, we toast to the kill after, but you do all the the heavy hallucinogenics yeah. before so you can slay yeah. better. Do I hear you? Meth Nolo mix before the show so you're ready to go on and then to bring yourself down. You have a nice glass of rye on the rocks. That's what's up. Now you all, you all uh, uh, will be playing at Louder Than Life here in um, here in Louisville in September coming up. We are okay. Yes, you, we yeah, are. we yeah. are. Yeah. You got you got uh, you got a few whiskey fans uh, fans who'll be coming to that, and we we have a we have a flask with you on stage to you know switch up a little bit of what you spray the spray the audience with. Yeah, and a and a racehorse. You're going to be riding a racehorse on stage. I love yeah, it. Yeah, we're coming out on horses to on the festival. That's our that's our new stick. Bone uh, Snapper is our jockey. I can see that. Yeah, I, hope a, I hope there's a good tasting, you know. I'm looking for it. Like, they, they gotta, I know Katakta is probably going to make a showing out at Louder Than Life because I know you got your set up there, right, Fred? I'll have, a, I'll have a back of house bar set up where you all can come and We'll get you back on the show for like a live or something, but um, but we definitely have. I'll definitely have something there cooking. You'll have. We'll have a good time for sure. Excellent, excellent. So the 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 new album, The Dark Ages, came out in June, and you all have been doing uh, a lot of media around it. How's the? Uh, how do you feel? You know, it's been received. Everything I've seen has been pretty positive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, without a doubt, people are uh, are are loving this record, um, and we're we're happy for that. Um, you know, but it's it's got it, it. We wanted to do something that was uh, we couldn't just do your run of the mill great war album. We had to do something that was actually going to upset people, and I think this time we've upset all the right people, so it's going great. It's good to upset people, you know. Feel yeah. that energy when you get on stage, and then uh, you eat them later, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little salt and people pepper, and a little whiskey with them, and yeah, it's getting, uh, it's getting, it's getting good, uh, good critical reviews. But we don't know what to do. We've never seen that before. I'm not it, sure. It makes us nervous. <laughs> yeah, when, when the critics like it, we're definitely scared of that because everyone knows that. People who review can't do so. Oh. I like when the fans, you know, like the record, but then I really don't care who likes the record. But I'm glad people like the record because then that means yeah. more people to kill. They come out to the shows. But we kind of uh, we're doing this for us. No, mm. we're doing it for the kids. No, it's for mom. I don't know, but we're still doing it. <laughs> that is true. I can't make whiskey, but I can sure drink it. I can sure That's tell you about right. it. You know, Balsack, how are you feeling about it? Oh, uh, what? What was the question? <laughs> I feel great. New proof whiskey, proof label, proof taste. Oh, we didn't talk about the toppers. The toppers are better now. They don't fall off in the mail. We got them done by the same guys who do the Blanton toppers. If if the oh really? So the people who do the Blanton's toppers did these. Same manufacturer, so oh, okay. Stuff. Yeah, the next Guar run of Catoctin Creek is gonna have us on horses as toppers. 
<laughs> Who's the lawyer of the group? Because uh, you know that's gonna that'll get a lawyer for sure. <laughs> We've got a lawyer. It's just <laughs> severed horse head toppers for each. They're still, made, they're still made with troll fillings, though. I mean, look, the, the the troll filling is where it's at, right? You, you gotta have you gotta have that uh, that sweet troll blood. It's easy to sculpt. It's soft, it's soft. I really miss the old, uh, you know, Jim Beam porcelain matadors the head facing backwards because your grandmother drank it and then passed out on the trailer floor. <laughs> that of never happened to me. Uh, of course you missed those. Those are the uh, those old decanters. They were they were filled with lead. That's why. Yeah. yeah. They don't do them anymore. No, those decanters are gone. Uh you, there's a there's a few uh few people making decanters, but that old porcelain style decanter with the like I'm looking at a couple like pheasants and and, and weird stuff. Uh, yeah, they don't make them anymore. Oh, uh, we got to bring that back. All right, that's gonna. That, yeah, that's what I want to do on the next run. Each character. Porcelain, yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Extra lead. Extra lead. Maybe we could do a higher proof even. That way, Only. the lead. That way, the lead leaches out more into the whiskey, and people have a better chance of getting sick. That'd be great. We can call it Get the Lead Out. Ooh. That was well played. Yeah. That was well played. Well, now we're going to use toilet porcelain to make these. <laughs> we're going to use toilets to fashion these things. So, I mean, th that's fresh water. Come I mean, on. there's there are hints of toilet in, uh, in some whiskeys from time to time. So, I, I see it. <laughs> Whiskey is like, you know, it's like a fine... I, I never knew that there was so much to it, you know. Uh, you really opened my eyes there, Fred. I, I, I thought it was, you know, something that was mainly made to be consumed under bridges. That's true. Um, there is there is a lot of uh, bridge uh, bridge consumption um, in in Baltimore and Louisville and uh, New York. You know. Speaking of trolls, what city has the best trolls? Seattle. Yeah. Seattle. It's got, got, yeah, probably Seattle. Portland. Fucking tents everywhere. Fucking there is a what you can't even walk under a highway. There's so many tents in that town. <laughs> it is uh it is it is a little uh a little unique out there for sure. Now, you all have a documentary out as well and you know, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of people coming out and talking about gore in the in the last little bit. You all been getting a lot of uh, a lot of attention. Has that increased your ability to find new victims to throw in your basement and and eat, or is it you know still kind of status quo? Well, it really hasn't affected it yet because it's coming out on Shutter on the 21st of this month. So. But we're hoping. I mean, that was the whole reason we did it. We put on human costumes and try to do this whole fake sob story about how, oh, look at us. We're just artists. We're not really monsters. We're not going to kill you. True, true. So we're hoping that people will be fooled by that. They'll come out to the shows, and then we can eat them. I think yeah. it's a solid plan. That's why we're having them all at cinema draft houses. <laughs> I mean, you get them all pinned in like fish in a barrel, right? Yeah. It's just we just go there to eat and drink. Well, so so this will actually come out in uh, right around the time of when when it when it drops. It'll be out in this episode will drop in like um, uh, the first or second week of August. So you know when this comes out, people are here. But like so this so the the documentary is 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 it nationwide? Is it uh, is it going to be? Um, how can people watch it? Well, it's going to be on Shutter. The network, mm -hmm. the horror uh, streaming network, and uh, then of course we're going to have it for sale, like usual. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean it, it's it's mainly you know it's for initial release, other than a limited uh, early screenings that are going on in cinema draft houses and in some some theaters. 
it, it's going to be uh, coming on the the streaming service Shutter. Awesome. And have you all done a documentary before? Have you ever done anything like that before? It took thirty uh, years to make this one. I don't think we have enough time to. Do another. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, mean, there is another documentary that's the the dim time documentary that has been made. It hasn't. Uh, that one hasn't been released yet. But uh, you know, we might. We're working things out with Shutter. I don't. We don't know exactly what the deal is going to be, but uh, we're gonna. We're hoping to have like a whole Guar section on Shutter that uh, people can go and check out some of our cinematic achievements over the years no oh, that'd be great and maybe even have some of your um have some of your ballads that uh you know that you've done um in, yeah, acu- videos, in acoustic yeah, sets music videos in there yeah well you know look you got you got this new whiskey out you got the new album out you got a documentary out and i i kind of feel i kind of feel like you know gore's rebirth here what is uh what is next for you guys we also have the graphic novel on C2 Comics that's coming out right now. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah don't wow. forget the hockey jerseys, the flannels, the dildos. There's so many products now. We got to do something during COVID because we couldn't play any shows. Yeah. Are, the, are the dildos selling well for you? They will be out later this month, hopefully. Yeah, they by the time this airs, we're hoping we can get a lot of OnlyFan, uh, you know, to see, to see the product testing. Yeah. <laughs> It's an impressive, impressive size dildo. I've never seen one. It's, it comes in all sizes, but the top of the line, which is the biggest. I mean, that's the life size cuttlefish. Yeah, the the real size, actual size of odorous youngest cuttlefish. It's it's awesome. There you go. Well, well, thank you all for for coming on. And uh, it's a shame that UPS failed you. You'll have to uh, take that up with them, and you couldn't sip some whiskey with me. But uh, hopefully. We'll sip My, it with you in uh, Louder Than Life. We'll there we go. Uh, louder Than Life. We'll have a, we'll have some whiskey together, and and hopefully you will uh, will spare my life once again. But uh, thank thank you all for for coming on, and um, you know everyone go check out Gore on tour and listen to the new album. Check out the documentary, and if you so happen to like them, pick up a dildo. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So all right. Happy. Thanks for having us, Fred. You know, we like to thank you, all you know, all the people promoting Guar and getting the name out there on the whiskey. Uh, it's great, but we can't thank you because we're Guar, so. Yeah. Yeah. But if we could, we would say thank you, and we're glad to be part of the wonderful world of booze. Right on. It, well, helps, it makes our music sound better. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Cheers, you all. Cheers. <laughs>